This podcast is brought to you by Odiogo.com. Deadly time vortex appears over Antarctica. Sector of erupting anomalies. Disturbing news has been leaking out from the giant continent at the bottom of the world. Some scientists manning lonely outposts under the drifting and shifting aurora are nearly paralyzed with fear. Their clip reports are being reviewed by astonished superiors back in the home countries. Russian researchers posted near the giant South Pole subglacial Lake Vostok have reported eerie anomalies and incidents over the past few years that sometimes seem to border on the frayed edge of creeping madness. Artificial structure found under two miles of ice during April 2001 One of the world's great secrets was revealed, an ancient structure or apparatus that lay encased miles under the hard Antarctic ice was detected by a roving spy satellite. The U.S. military immediately moved to quash the reports and the mainstream news media dutifully complied. Despite the news blackout, reports still surfaced that a secretive excavation project had commenced on the heels of the discovery. Some European countries formally protested the excavation by the U.S. military. Excavation deep into the ice. What's down there? If it's something the U.S. military has constructed down there, then they're violating the International Antarctic Treaty, said an aide to Nicole Fontaine, at the time he was the European Parliament's French president. If not, then it's something that's at least 12,000 years old, which is how long ice has covered Antarctica. That would make it the oldest man-made structure on the planet. The Pentagon should heed the calls of Congress and release whatever it's hiding. The federal government and the Pentagon ignored the calls. High technology and strange events U.S. Air Force's incredible subterrane giant Earth were. Soon after, some military observers noted that robotic devices were being shipped to the South Pole and speculation erupted about the belief by some that the U.S. Air Force had transported their mammoth nuclear-powered tunnel boring machine, the Subterrene, on AC-5A to a secret Antarctic base. The Subterrene, a cylindrical vessel that is said man with a crew of four to six, is capable of subterranean travel and has undergone tests in Nevada, Colorado and New Mexico. Designed to bore through hard rock strata, drilling into the ice would be like a laser cutting through a marshmallow. Earth borer, like a laser cutting through a marshmallow. Following the frenzied events, of early 2001, the news broke of a mysterious medical emergency that forced an evacuation of unnamed personnel during the depths of the Antarctic winter the first event of its kind during the dangerous South Pole winter season. Shortly after that the region was shaken by an unusual earthquake. Seismologists located the Tembler at the epicenter of the buried structure in East Antarctica. Yet still the military resisted making any comment. A magnetic anomaly formed, intensified, and spread to the vicinity of the Russian Vostok base. Russian researchers were shocked and puzzled. Meanwhile, the American military airfield buzzed with activity as flights came and went at a dizzying pace. Heavy machinery some pretty exotic appeared on the bleak Antarctic ice sheet. Unverified reports claimed that the nuclear-powered Earth borer subterrane arrived. Subterrane sent to explore prehistoric machine? Finally, the American and European media were pressing hard for some believable answers when 9-11 occurred and the U.S. was suddenly under terrorist attack. Domestic and international focus immediately shifted from the Antarctic to New York City and Washington, D.C. The mysterious events in Antarctica were forgotten. 2002, TV crew disappears A California TV crew filming in the Antarctic went missing in November 2002. Supposedly, a video discovered among the crew's personal effects by a special U.S. Navy SEAL rescue team tasked to find the filmmakers confirmed earlier reports of a huge artifact buried under the ice a prehistoric machine that may be of alien origin. The U.S. government said it will seek to block the airing of a video found by Navy rescuers in Antarctica that purportedly reveals that a massive archaeological dig is underway two miles beneath the ice, stated a press release that appeared briefly on the studio production's website. Time vortex erupts as one bizarre event followed another, a research team of U.S. and U.K. scientists accidentally came across a mind-numbing discovery. While working on a joint weather research project, the team witnessed the creation of a spinning vortex of time. U.S. physicist Marianne McLean allegedly testified that she and her colleagues became aware of a spinning gray fog in the sky over their heads. 
they initially dismissed the phenomenon as merely part of a random polar storm. The spiraling vortex, however, did not disperse. Stranger still, despite gusts of wind and briskly moving clouds overhead, the weird spinning gray fog remained stationary. Intense magnetic anomaly. Deciding to explore the odd phenomena, the group took one of its weather balloons and attached a meteorological instrument to it that calibrated temperature, barometric pressure, humidity, wind speed and a scientific chronometer to record the times of the readings. After attaching a cable to the balloon, and securing the other end to a winch, they released it. The balloon and instrument package soared upwards and were immediately sucked into the gaping wall of the swirling vortex. The balloon and instruments disappeared. Tunnel to the past after a several minutes, they decided to retrieve the balloon. Despite some difficulty with the winch they succeeded in bringing the balloon back to Earth and checked the instruments. McLean stated that everyone was stunned by the readout on the chronometer. It displayed a date decades in the past, January 27, 1965. McLean claimed the experiment was repeated several times with the same result. Later, she said, the entire episode was reported to military intelligence and passed on to the White House. Presumably the strange vortex phenomenon a highly magnetic tunnel to the past was codenamed the Time Gate by military intelligence. Magnetic Time Tunnel to the Past? As the phenomenon was generated in the same general vicinity as the discovery of the giant apparatus deep under the ice, it's thought the two may be related. If indeed a magnetic time vortex is appearing and disappearing over Antarctica and if the phenomena is not natural, but generated by some unknown technology deep under the ice cap it may reveal the physics of time and could potentially allow control of the past, and by implication the future. If true, it's no wonder the military is so intensely interested and so close-mouthed about it. Seven days ago, one of my satellites over Antarctica discovered a pyramid. Where exactly on the ice is this? It's not on the ice. It's 2,000 feet under it. Let's make history.